What up, y'all? It's T-Biz here, and we've got a new G.I. Joe classified figure today. We're going to be checking out the Alley Viper. Um, I'm late to the game on this. It doesn't matter, because I just got to give my two cents about it from my own personal archive anyways. I never had any Alley Vipers from this era. Um, there's actually a lot of cool figures, because this figure came out, I guess, in 1988. And there was a lot of cool figures that I would like to see uh, from that era. Uh, you had, like, the second version, actually, the third version of Snake Eyes with the long nunchuck thing. Um, you had uh, Target, which was a cool, weird character with a glider thing. You had Stalker with his Arctic gear. Um, you had the Heat Viper and uh, Storm Shadow, the second version, Shockwave, um, Repeater, Hit and Run, which oh, I thought that was Halo, but that was Hit and Run. But um, yeah, Hit and Run was cool. He had the green face paint, but uh, Road Pig, Blizzard, uh, the Toxo Viper, Astro Viper. This is a pretty good wave. I was, yeah, the Hydro Viper was really cool. Budo, there was a lot of really cool figures from this era. And I miss those days of going to um, Highland Mall here in Austin, Texas, back in the day where you could go to the toy box and find cool figures. It was like a KB toy store or whatever. But um, we're gonna read the file card real quick. Um, but I should also um, actually throw up some pictures too of the Pursuit of Cobra version and the vintage version on the card. And what else? What's a, it's another version. Um, I think the Battle Course version or whatever that, that uh, is a must see too because it's kind of not the same figure, but it looks, you know, you get the idea. But, anyways, um, yeah, let's read the file card real quick. Let's see where we're at. Yeah. The Alley Vipers are the Cobra equivalent to, of a police SWAT unit or British SAS, Special Air Service. Oh, wow, that's cool. Um, they uh, form the spearhead of Cobra's inner city invasion forces. This elite contingent of marauders are true masters of brutality, possessing a style of ruthlessness not present in other Cobra soldiers. Recruited from Cobra's most diabolical combat divisions, Alley Vipers use various forms of treachery to achieve their objectives. In order to graduate from their training program, they are required to survive a full burst of machine gun fire across uh, their frontal body armor. Oh, wow. Uh, execute a 30-foot jump onto concrete with full combat load and run down a 100-meter gas-filled corridor without a gas mask. Wow, that's pretty cool. Because you could break a leg <laughs> jumping. Like, that's like probably... What, a few stories or something? I don't know, man. That's crazy. Um, yeah, Alley Vipers are big and strong as well as ruthless. Their body armor alone weighs 50 pounds, and they carry at least 30 pounds of weapons, ammo, grenades, and climbing gear. You definitely don't want one of these gorillas running up and kicking your door down. So, yeah, that's cool, man. And this is kind of like pre-neon era crazy, wacky stuff, G.I. Joe also but um yeah this is sick man uh i never had one of these so it's gonna be cool to check them out because i had some of these figures but i didn't have them all because back in those days you just you got what you got you know you went to the mall with your folks you got what you got so uh let's see i guess the boots are different icons the shield the boot tear gas the city with the scope on it so that makes sense this is a SWAT guy. I've already seen the regular rigmarole. Once again, really cool art on the back. And there's a few other guys. So I actually want to get more of these, man, one of these days. Whew. Need at least, at least like to have like three, if not four, because that, that just makes sense to me. I, I'm not gonna, you know, get like 50 and have some uh, whatever, some crazy post. It's never gonna get, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Wait, let's just get into this figure. I'll shut up. Immediately, man, you can see all the ridiculous amount of stuff that he comes with that's yeah, that's a sick amount of stuff man really really cool and he comes with a buttload of stuff oh my god he's got this wicked cool shield which is kind of funny these are SWAT guys I mean they're not like covert like ninja guys because you could see them a mile away I mean you could see them at night you could they're easy targets I think but um but they got like computerized like shields and stuff so that's cool man that you can like see stuff you can like get a whole um Tron game going, like Atari style. It's got a wicked cool backpack with grenades. Looks like landmines. Pegged up, maybe stick one of his weapons. Extra ammo clip. Extra pouches, another clip. 
all kinds of stuff to do dastardly deeds or dirty deeds here's another ammo clip let's see he's got another rifle right here yeah you can just take the magazine out and put it in there so that's cool that's rad man that is cool it's got a scope on it and stuff it's got a hole for uh fiery things to stick in but we haven't I don't have anything that can that'll work with that i don't think let's see it comes with the grapple hook gun which uh, i wish i had a good cord i kind of apologize for not having a good cord because i would hate to just put basic thread you would use to sew with on here because that's just you need like a really strong cord to just tie that around there and you have a wicked grapple hook man i don't know why they didn't i don't know but then again you, it comes with so much stuff i guess they're just not going to throw in some uh, cord material here's a pistol for when he want, runs out of all of his uh other ammo there's another gun really cool stuff dude he's got two knives that you can also uh put like a cord on if you wanted to so that's cool too whatever he needs to do it with you know whatever he needs to do with it and here's a visor thing that he uses once again, so that's cool. It's got a TVI or whatever, but um, yeah, wicked cool figure, man. Let's see if we can get a look at his eyes. Looks like he has blue eyes, I can't tell. Maybe brown, but anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, all kinds of body armor, all kinds of pouches. Looks like he's got all kinds of, he's got some armor here to protect his dingus, so that's cool. It's got another little holster for a knife right there or scabbard whatever you want to call it um all kinds of cobra paraphernalia all over him really cool figure some heavy duty gloves with some nice knuckle padding so that's cool too all kinds of holsters and stuff some good shin guard pads some knee pads just everything man he's, he's good to go He's good to go. He's got double knees, all that stuff. Upper leg cut. You can do splits, boot cut, rocker pivot swivel, all that stuff. So that's cool. Got waist twist. Anything in here's uh, all covered up with his body armor. So that's, that makes sense. So yeah, he's cool, man. He looks rad. It's a cool figure. Definitely an army builder. I don't know if they have any more of these on BBTS. I'd like to find out, but uh, I guess the next thing to do is to get them geared up and uh, check them out with all his gear. I tell you what, folks, Antifa baristas have, don't have anything on the Alley Viper, man. This this is hardcore. This, this dude looks rad. He's ready for battle. He's got a shield. He's got an automatic weapon, dude. He's he's got a grapple gun. He's got grenades. He's got maybe even landmines. Just watch out. You got to watch out, Joe's, and watch out. You know. Uh, crazy Antifa baristas. I couldn't give him this gun. I think I could peg it on. Or actually, oh, this is other magazine that goes with this gun. So yeah, there you go. That's cool. I didn't realize that, but I don't think there's any other spot that I can throw this gun. So we're just gonna have to just let it hang to the side. We're not gonna use it for this, you know, particular vid. It's a good gun though, man. But if you got two or three of these guys, you can use different weapons. So that's cool. But uh, yeah, he's posed up. This is an awesome figure. Uh, of course, I'm going to say that because it's G.I. Joe. And plus, G.I. Joe in this scale is just sick anyways. You can't deny it. Even if you're not like a big G.I. Joe guy, like my buddy Overlord, you're still going <laughs> to... You know, these figures are forced to be reckoned with because it's kind of like the best of both worlds. Like, you've got like, you know, like, you know, the old school 12 whatever inch, the, the big old G.I. Joes, like your... Um, your uncles had when they were kids, you know, like the guys in their fifties had, and then, um, and then you got the three inch little old school Joes. So you've kind of got the best of both worlds. You've got all those accessories from like the old school Joe for like old school, like eighties kids, eighties, nineties kids, Joes. And then you've got like not quite the same size or scale as the old timer boomer Joes, but still it's, it's 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 about there man it's cool it, it really works man it's really awesome i'm so glad that they're doing this and it looks like that um that his tank keeps meeting crazy stretch goals like they're gonna have a vintage carded cobra commander that goes with it 
because I think he was pictured on the on the vintage box anyways of the um old his tank yeah it's crazy man anyways um yeah this is cool man I remember back in the day my aunt Becky bought me and my cousin Ote um two his tanks back in the day and that was pretty wicked I remember the day that Ote got a um the whale is it the hovercraft or whatever he never let me touch that thing whole summer that he they stayed with my grandma he never let me touch that thing i still we're still we still don't really get along that well and we're still whatever he's a dick but you know it's um yeah i, I can't forgive him for that man never never getting to lay my hands on you know the hovercraft and all its awesome little gadgets and stuff and little surfboard thing and all that crap but anyways another story for another time or this time anyways but yeah this uh figure rocks man i uh, definitely want to army build these guys definitely want to try to get at least one more or if not a few but um who knows how hard they are to find i like them with this visor up you can't have them with this visor down you know but um but i think he looks cool too with his, his visor up so yeah Really wicked figure, man. Really wicked. But uh, also reminds me, too, because they mentioned all the crazy training that these dudes go through. It makes me think of um, Range Viper. Range Viper is another one of my favorite characters as far as Vipers go and stuff. And um, I like to see Range Viper because those dudes are like kind of like special forces. Like almost Navy SEAL special forces, whatever. Like hardcore of the Viper groups and stuff. Plus, they look cool. Anyways, um... Thanks for watching, y'all. Let me know what you think about this figure. Whether you dig it or not. And um, it's been out for a while, so this almost doesn't even matter. But hey, this is just from my own personal archive because I love me some old Joes. And yeah, and I love the Classified series. Anyways, thanks for watching, y'all. Have a good one. All right, later.